Coach Hensley was just talking about your process and getting more mature, especially over the last several years, and seeing yourself uh, in a different light, holding yourself accountable. Where did that start? When did it become clear to you that you had to hold yourself in a different light? And how did that work out in your estimate? Um, I think that's just the standard that we have here at SC is to be where you're supposed to be, do what you're supposed to do. And I think it took me a couple years or maybe a year and a half to figure that out. But as soon as I did, I was, I was up from here. So I think it was just the process, just the time, the reps, the the confidence that you gain being in college football, taking a certain amount of reps. So Was there a wake-up call moment for you maybe? I always say uh, 2022. It's funny, we were actually just talking about this today. 2022, Pac-12 championship. I'm not proud of the, my performance that game. And I just told myself that I wouldn't play like that again, and then I set that standard for myself. What went wrong in that game? That like I just said, I just didn't perform well. And, uh, you know, there's always – you're never going to be perfect in sports, but, you know, I was just – too unfocused that game and so I decided that from that moment forward that it would it would be different for myself and I, I think I've accomplished that. Is, is there an example of things that fell through the cracks in the past and how you just make sure you never do? Uh, mostly just you know missed assignments you know taking the playbook more more seriously and really digging deep into the playbook and understanding every single concept that we have in there. Um, that's really what set myself apart from this year to last year. What have you seen from Amos and Alani competing next year at right guard? They're both uh, duking it out, so I'm excited to see who does that. Have you had a chance to block Cameron Fountain much? I love blocking Cam. He's a good, he's a good, strong football player. He's a really good true freshman. He's going to be really good. Yeah, does he kind of, I mean, his body type, does he stand out to you as a true freshman? He certainly doesn't look like one. No, I mean... He definitely, uh, yes, he stands out um, as a true freshman just because of obviously his strength and his body, but uh, it's also he has a really good work, at, work ethic as well. So, yeah. Anthony Lucas is a guy that yeah, I think kind of players talk about all the time as a practice standout. How, how is he sort of flash forward for this game? <laughs> And it's definitely a challenge to block, um, but I, I love it because it only makes me better. Um, yeah, I guess that's all I can really say to that one. How have you felt like a right tackle your performance so far early? I'm feeling comfortable. I mean, you know, I've had experience playing multiple positions in the past year, so um, I think I'm just comfortable. It's I can I'm comfortable being more consistent at one position now. Um, and I think that reflects in my game. Is there a, a preference tackle guard? Like, does, does tackle work? Well, I mean, uh, I was recruited as a tackle, but I stepped in that guard because that's what the team needed last year. But, I mean, I prefer tackle. But if they needed me to step up and be a guard, I'll, no questions asked, do it again. Probably obvious, but playing tackle, what is that? What do you need there kind of compared to guard? What is that um, guard is more about power. Tackle is more about feet. Um, being agile and kind of finesse, I, I guess you could say. Um, moving in space, guard, everything is right in front of you. Tackle, he's, he's all the way out there, go block him, you know. So. What's it been like for you? I know nothing set in stone, but really having a role heading into the season, whereas in years past, you still have to fight for that starting job as the, the year started. Uh, like I just said, you know, it, it, it feels really good playing one position and being able to stay consistent and looking at the playbook from one side of the ball. Yeah. How much do you need to know about sort of the way Miller plays quarterback in the pocket out of the pocket? Like, does that affect that line? How you, how you block this? We just think do our job and we'll let the quarterback make us right whenever, whenever happens. What's Miller showed that as we get ready to the season here? Just taking control of the offense. I mean, you know, I love Miller. I've been, I came in with Miller as a freshman, so I've always seen him. I've always seen how he operates on the field and off the field um, from our freshman year to now. So it's not a surprise that he's, he's doing great things right now. I'm just excited to see, you know, where he goes from, where he goes from now. Woody Marks is a, a new guy. What's it been like to, to block for him? You said Woody? Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, he's a baller. I mean. I love blocking for him. It makes the, it makes the job fun. Makes the job easy. I love seeing him take the ball all the way down the field. He's quick. He's fast. He's powerful. He runs the ball with some tenacity and with a with an edge about him. So I think that's going to be really good for our running back in this year. Sure. I know it's just one practice, but with pads on today, anyone stand out to you now that you guys are going full out? I mean, I told you, Aunt Luke. He's always good work. Um, Jamil Muhammad is always giving me good work as well. Some interior guys, Gavin Meyer. Um, Nate Clifton, our D line has been putting in work this off season, and it's it's showing for sure. And they're gonna get us ready to for the Big Ten. Is there an example of, of kind of 
we heard, you know, from spring to fall, that whole group made a big jump. Is there something that you see specifically that they can maybe do now that, that wasn't there in the past? Well, I think the D-line did better now than they did in yeah. the past. Um, I mean, that's not really my side of the ball. I can't really speak for them. But I think they're just buying into what Coach Henny's teaching them, and it's working. Mason, we've heard a lot about how, you know, last year Elijah went down for every few weeks at scout team. It just kind of seemed like he came back a different player, mentality, that sort of thing. Just what have you seen, you know, in terms of his development, kind of going forward from that point, as to, you know, his confidence and just how that's picked up? Well, I mean, yeah, like you just said, his confidence growing is definitely something that I've seen go from here to here in the past couple months in general. Um, his confidence on the field, off the field, uh, the way he operates, he's, you know, operating like a professional now. Uh, not that he wasn't before, but he's he's taking his role and he's not taking it lightly. So, yeah. One more for Mason.